Hey Drone Nerds, Matt here. I've got an Anzu Robotics Raptor T with me today. Behind me we have a power substation. Let me show you thermal capabilities and how it can be used for thermal inspection. So first we're gonna do all of our pre-flight checks. Then we're gonna put the drone up in the air and I'll show you the different color palettes for the Anzu Robotics Raptor T. We're gonna update our home point. So after going through all of our safety parameters and making sure that our obstacle avoidance is correct, as well as our return to home altitude, we're gonna take off with the wide camera on and then we're gonna to switch to the zoom camera with all the IR capabilities and I'll show you the different color palettes. If you select SPS on your display, you can see the thermal imaging on the left and the RGB camera on the right. This is really nice to be able to have both of these images up at the same time. In this menu, you can see all the different color palettes for the Raptor T. White Hot is the most commonly used color palette. It displays warmer objects in white and cooler objects in black, often used for law enforcement to track vehicles and locate body heat. Black Hot is the opposite of the White Hot color palette commonly used for law enforcement to locate body heat as well, but shows better detail of the surroundings for navigation. Tint is a grayscale plus red for the hottest objects in the scene. The rest of these color palettes are used for temperature changes that are more minute, best used for scenes with minimal heat change and often used in inspections. These palettes are personal preference for specific use cases up to the pilot, depending on the application. Just a side note on the flight software we have here with the Raptor T. The Raptor series uses air control by Aloft. Now, the air control app is hosted on US-based secure servers, has SOC 2 Type 2 certification for security, offers encrypted live streaming, weather details for pilots, flight telemetry playback, pilot and fleet management options, as well as airspace planning and automatic data tagging. It also has pre and post flight checks, offering customizable checklists according to your company's SOPs. Now we're gonna go back in the menu and change the color palette to tint, showing grayscale with the hottest elements in the scene glowing red. With up to 45 minutes of flight time in a compact package, the Raptor T has plenty of battery capacity to complete large inspections without the need to land and do a battery swap. It's a great inspection drone for enterprise use. Now moving away from the IR capabilities, if we wanted to inspect individual components in this power substation, this is where you would use the zoom camera. Over here on the right, I'm going to zoom in utilizing the hybrid optical and digital zoom. And you can see just how clear the picture is. I'm about 150 feet away from this substation utility pole and the image is crisp clear, allowing you to see all the components from a safe distance. You can see every bolt and all the hardware critical for securing the lines to this utility pole. Right now we're at 35.5 times zoom. And this is so you can inspect all the individual components of this utility pole. The Raptor T makes it easy to pan over to other components as well. The camera has great built-in video stabilization, and at no point did I feel like I lost my bearings of what I'm inspecting. With both zoom and camera tilt toggles right on the remote controller, I can avoid taking my hands off the control sticks in order to zoom in or change the angle of the camera. Now we're at the max 56 times zoom, and you can see just how great of a job the Raptor T does for inspection use. Once we're done with our inspection, we can go back to the wide camera and use it for navigation to go back to the home point. So I hope this video demonstration showed you a little bit about the Anzu Raptor T's thermal capabilities. If you have any questions, you can put those down in the comments. Also be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. My name is Matt, happy flying.